is the sleeping giant of 2017 neo going back to all-time high it is fearless environmentally friendly and fast how much could it move okay all right um we're gonna have bill pull, pull that up uh let me also pull up neo here on token metrics now I'm not sure if there's been any fundamental changes in NEO. I, I know last time we covered it last year, uh, in depthly, they were talking about NEO 3.0. I'm not sure what the status is on that, whether it's launched or if anybody's using it at all. Uh, but all these projects always seem to, to move in cycles where they, 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 they lay dormant for a while, they make some big announcement, then they begin to pump and, and rally. All right, let me know when you're ready, Bill. Okay, here comes the chart. Okay, so January 10th, Sunday. What is the NEO price prediction? Well, folks, as we say at Token Metrics, the bigger the base, the higher into space. So, what has NEO done since 2018? Nothing. It's traded between five and 20 and broke everyone's heart the way it broke everyone's heart in Ethereum. We all sat and waited, and I'm sure there's people in NEO who are sitting and waiting going, is now the time? So I will give you some good news. I'm not wearing the Santa suit anymore, but I will say good things about NEO, okay? Um, no one likes NEO, and it's been working to buy stuff that no one likes. Um, Stellar mooned. Now I like Stellar. That's IBM. Okay. But if Stellar can moon, if Cardano can go up, if Polkadot can hundred X, all of these other DeFi highways, I mean, yes, we do think that Ethereum is going to be the biggest thing ever, but there isn't just one highway or way into Manhattan, right? You can go George Washington Bridge, Lincoln Tunnel, Holland Tunnel, ferry, helicopter, airplane. DeFi could have more than one highway, right? It could be Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano, Neo. Now you might say, okay, Bill, that's ridiculous. That's pretty much going to be ETH. It's winner take all. It's software. I'm not sure you've heard. This is a technology industry. I get it. I get it. But in the meantime, if Stellar can go and Cardano can go, and I don't know, EOS went for like a day, then Neo can go as well. You know, next week, I haven't looked at the chart, but somebody will call in for Tron, right? So any of these altcoins that are in this like, you know, dApp space or might be in the dApp space, I mean, I think you can run dApps on Bitcoin Cash. So if all this stuff is just going to go, well, the bigger the base in NEO, the higher in the space. It can go to 70. You know, I just don't think it's going to 70 right now, but you never know. I mean, Kramer, I think Kramer's famous saying now applies to crypto. There's always a bull market somewhere. So if Bitcoin and Ethereum stop, right, Dash and privacy coins took off out of nowhere. Everyone hated them and then everyone loved them. Neo, same thing. No one likes it. It goes up. Icon, all these. I haven't looked at Icon. Tron, I haven't looked at it. But guess what? Someone's going to look at it because, you know, if this theme takes off, there's always a bull market somewhere. All right. That is music to my ears. We like bull markets. All right. So let us know what you think about Neo uh, down below.